Hi there, folks. What I thought I would show you is my new software program from GASP, G-A-S-P Lab, and how it integrates the body track up here. I know it looks a little different to you all that have seen this. And the K-Vest, the video, and down here we have all the track mail, all in one nice, tidy program. And since I'm showing it off, I figured I'd show you something cool that I was just goofing around with something that's held up over and over again uh, you can defeat this if you want with a very bad golf swing transition however here we go it holds up awfully well I want you to notice how this body track screen swing this is this last swing here uh, this is the first swing resulted in a almost dead square club path a zero okay and I hit one degree down on it. Here we go. It's a seven iron. You can see the weight, the pressure shifted right slightly more toward the heel than the ball of the foot. Just slightly, 60 40 here. Okay. And I want you to see how that moves in transition. I'm going to want you to watch this very carefully. This is a very big deal because a lot of you guys have already been playing with this on the body track. Notice how straight linear this trace is going. I know it's a little hard to see with these. I, I'm going to call these instantaneous, okay? And I'm going to call this little thing right in here the actual trace, the overall trace, if you will. And there's a very linear trace. See it go? And a very straight club path. Okay, now it's interesting that you're seeing a, a 1.5 inch shift back away from the target of the pelvis on the backswing and five and a half toward the target on the downswing. Okay, good. So we have that down. Now we take a look at a slight shift in the shift, if you will. That sounds funny, doesn't it? So here we go, and what we're going to do is take this shift more to the ball of the left foot. And now this time you can see that the club path has moved to 5.6 degrees out to the right. And you're going to see a different shift in this trace up here again, and I'll try to do it so that you can see it. Uh, and it's a little hard to see. There's the backswing, very similar to the first swing in the shift there. A little more ball of the foot on the right foot here, at the top of the backswing. And you can see where this is heading, can't you? Out to the right. Okay, now, here it went back on the backswing. That's the shift. And then it went out. If you look at this, is the direction of the target line, this horizontal red line. I shifted out toward the ball of the left foot. Okay, and what that did was resulted in an increased pelvis shift toward the target and what that does my friends is orient the body for a more inside out club delivery now the difference between square and five to the right may not look like a lot it's a uh, every do, every uh, tick of the second hand on a clock face is six degrees but you can see that club's going more out to the right because of the direction of the shift now i'm not goofing around i'm trying to track all this stuff and see if I only change one variable what does it do to the club path very cool now watch this one here so a more out to the ball of the foot shift maybe from the right heel a little bit to the ball of the left foot will take the path more out to the right now here we go and this works for a person who is too much swinging to the right swinging too far to the right hitting pushed shots to the right of the target and balls that hook too much and here we go wait a minute this path just went one degree to the left and I want you to watch the difference in the shift it's a really big deal if you're fighting rightward paths uh, there's the shift is 50 50 there it starts linear 
and then goes straight to the left heel. Do you see this right in here, folks? This is the shape I'm talking about. Okay, now interestingly enough, again, so my theory is that this shift of the pressure underneath your feet is orienting your pelvis, and that's what's controlling where the golf club is going. And so I did shift backward two and a half inches. I only got to four and a half inches forward in the pelvis shift. And that took the club path to the left. And let me tell you something. When club paths go to the left, right here, often you see the attack angle increase. Seven down is a little bit too much, folks. Uh, the reason it is, these things are absolutely related. The swing direction, like if, a, if your swing plane is swinging on the roof of a house, the swing direction was actually six degrees to the left, but because it also makes the swing end up hitting more down on the golf ball, it results in a just one degree left club path. So there you go. That's a little bit about understanding shift patterns and what it does to the pelvis and what it does to the club delivery. Thank you very much. Have a great day. I hope that is clear to you.